Yeah, oh, okay. I'm not sure. Like, at this point, like, the author is um, asking for it. Like, I'm not gonna comment on this, but I think we sort of know what this looks like. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another Archiax video. And today, I'm gonna be talking about some of the entries that were entered into AI architecture. So, the result for the latest AI architecture competition is out, and there are some really fantastic entries. Congratulations to all the winners. And I wanted to show you guys a sneak peek behind what kind of goes out behind the scene and my thoughts behind some of the best entries that are entered into the competition. Before we get started, even if you missed this competition, there is a new competition that is happening. It is called AI Architecture 2023. And the theme of this competition is about artificial nature. So if you missed the last competition, feel free to check this out and I'll see you guys there. We are starting with this Imagine Urban Park of Hong Kong. And this project is extremely interesting because they are trying to imagine a very green and nate lush landscape for otherwise like sort of stark Hong Kong scenery. Because, but overall, um, I really like this entry. And next up is October Winds, Soviet Utopian design reimagined by AI. So this one is a brilliant entry because it kind of proves that AI is able to understand a certain stylistic architectural decisions and manifest that into a totally new form. So for example, this entry is focused on creating this brutalist and almost stark environment. It's kind of interesting how like, if you tell AI to create, like incorporate as much concrete as possible into your scene, they'll just go ahead and do it for you. It almost looks like this desk is made of concrete as well. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah, this entry is also very interesting. Um, this one's called Immersive Inoculation. And I love the, how, I love the scientific approach this um, author took. As you can see, they, um, the author or authors, it's a collaboration work between two people, took this matrix of moods and different prompts and turned them into um, these very unique images. And of course, the images are very fairy tale like. Um, the proportions and the actual construction methods are questionable, but I love the way they broke down and try to like push the boundaries of what these tools are capable of. Century was definitely one of my favorite ones. Um, this one is the Oceanic Museum entry. And uh, yeah, what's really cool about this is that, you know, like these geometries, the actual form is so unique. I can totally, um, I have not seen any like Star Architects or mid-size, small-size firms creating geometries like this, but I can imagine a new type of Star Architects springing up with this sort of style. And what makes the most sense about this entry is that the actual geometry is sort of like corals, those sea creatures. And I love the way they translated that into an architectural language. And this theme kind of, um, yeah, the, these sponge-like visual language permeates through the entire project. And then you get into the, probably like the actual entrance inside of the building. And the way the light permeates through the building and the way interior finishes are also consistent with the exterior form. It's actually quite amazing. And what's really cool is that like AI just conceived this space on its own, like the way there are aquariums surrounding the visitors, but it's not those like cliche um, aquarium tunnel, but it's like a mixture of, you know, sinuous geometries and very precisely targeted viewing holes like this. And yeah, so overall, definitely a very interesting and well-executed project. Um, there are some entries that are also impressive in their own rights. For example, Eden in the Trees. This entry um, creates, starts off with like a very imaginative, very typical AI imagery. But when it comes down to the actual explanation, I love the way these images are also generated using AI, like very analytical and yeah, conceptual images. And that makes this entry really stand out on its own as well. And yeah, these like infographic image is I can almost, if I don't try to read what the text is saying, of course, like AI is not uh, able to generate text very well right now. But if I didn't focus on that, just like blur my eyes a little bit. This is a very convincing product introduction page. Red building, this one's a very interesting one as well. These images are just beautiful and very realistic. I can imagine this being like the next landmark in some other city. Very bold. And yeah, this interior image is very convincing. I can totally imagine this. Um, taken from one of the exterior views that we've seen above thing. Wow. Yeah, this one was a very fun one as well. Floral International Airport. And um, yeah, it starts off with this amazing aerial view. Very interesting geometry. I can totally imagine this being like um, yeah, a real airport somewhere. Like a transit hub. 
And I'm not sure about some of the some of these images, but there are some really fun moments that are happening, and that something that someone can probably borrow into an actual design. Like for example, this interior piece over here. I don't know what it is, but it's just so intriguing. If this was like a very cushy cushion, um, I would love to sit inside. Um, like try sitting on this, even though it sort of looks like something. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. Like at this point, like the author is um, asking for it. Like I'm not gonna comment on this, but I think we sort of know what this looks like. But nevertheless, I love the way they turned this into an extremely, you know, intriguing and almost a yeah, intriguing space. So kudos to whoever that created this. And yeah, this is an amazing work. I love this entry as well because um, they're able to take this like image generated by AI and kind of turn this into this like isometric illustration. I love how they creatively just like chopped off some of the side, created this like section poche, and then yeah, just maybe flipped it around or something like that. Took two images and yeah, put them together. And I would love to see more of this in the future. Um, there are some signs of um, construction drawings that are generated by AI as well. And um, I don't know how far this will go at this rate, but still very interesting and almost alarming to see. Um, yeah, the actual plans themselves probably don't really make sense. And different section, elevation um, don't really align with the building that we're looking at. But this is a beginning and maybe in the near future we'll see an entire building just automatically generated with a click or with a prompt and then they'll come back with you with like a construction drawing set so yeah who knows kind of rock entry is a very interesting one as well because i love how like they're able to create this very interesting architectural geometries inspired by its surroundings for example this particular entry is situated somewhere in like a very rocky mountainous landscape and the interior spaces reflect exactly that but they didn't simply just bring in some um, rock texture and paste it on there these are playful interpretations of those uh, formations and actually has these like interesting laces golden laces that are going through and turn them into more simplified and logical geometries i can totally see this becoming some luxury hotel and i wonder if ai will cause the near future architecture to turn more um, playful like this so we'd love to see that happen and of course ai can be used to create these very dreamy um structures and yeah i love I like the mood that this entry creates and part of it is like still feasible um probably with a lot of fabrication and on-site assembly but you know nonetheless if one is trying to create a landmark this might be the process they might want to go through but yeah very cool very imaginative and i love the way the actual building is integrated into nature in this entry very well done and these are pretty fun as well um i've seen some Im images on instagram where um People use AI to create like a maquette, like a small scaled model. And I love how this takes that concept even forward and integrates a bonsai into the scaled model um, appearance. And this is very fun. And honestly, I would love to have one of these. Um, swinging to the other side of the spectrum, we can see how AI can be used to create something that is definitely within the realm of reality. This luxury housing in the top of a mountain looks like something a Bond villain would have. And yeah. This one just looks like an architectural photography. Very nice. Very controlled, muted landscape, interior space. Yeah, overall, I like the mood that this entry creates and how all the pieces of furniture and interior elements are extremely feasible. So yeah, amazing work. That's about it. Um, <clears throat> there are still several more entries in this competition. There were honestly overwhelming number of entries. Um, so I definitely can't show you everything, but I talked about some of the ones that I found the most interesting and hope you guys felt that way as well. Like I mentioned earlier, there is a second competition that are happening right now. So if you're interested in entering and win $500 in prize pool, take a look at the competition. I look forward to seeing your entry there and see you guys next time. Bye.